Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today for my layout, I am using just random papers. I am not using a collection like I usually do. I am going to use this piece from Amy Tand. It's her old stitched collection. I am going to use the white side that has the uh, black spots on it. I'm also going to use a paper from Dear Lizzie, and it is for the aqua side. And I am going to use a paper from Good Vibes. This one right here is the Dear Lizzie side, or the Dear Lizzie paper. I'm going to use this aqua side. Here in a minute, you're going to see a sketch pop up to the right, the top right hand side of the screen. And that is going to be the sketch I used. I stayed kind of close to it. What I really mostly pulled from it was the photo corners. And also, I did use the three photos and then those two strips, and also the horizontal piece. So just pretty much just the embellishment placement is different from the sketch so I am gonna go ahead and back my photos on some white not individually I'm gonna mat them on there in a row so like I said I did want to pull in that photo corner element and here's how I made them I just cut like Mm, this is probably half inch width of a strip and then I just kind of fold each side in on itself then I washi tape the back side of it together and then slip it on the corner I will washi tape it onto the the photo as well just so it will stay in place and I'm gonna make two of these right here. I am gonna go back and make two more to put on that aqua paper here in a little bit. So right there are my photo corners. This is gonna serve as the second strip, right like that. I'm also gonna pull out the Tim Holtz tool and distress the edges of the strips as well as that aqua piece. Right here is where I went ahead and used that washi tape to hold down the photo corners. So these are photos of Bailey when we were out on a walk. We've been, um, we're putting in a pool and we had to take down our fence in the back. So Bailey has been going on a mini walks. She's probably taken more walks in the past month than she has in her entire life because we don't have a fence anymore I can't just let her out back so she's funny when she walks when you take her for a walk on a leash she's funny the way she walks she a, a lot of Pomeranians do this anyways but they like swing their butt and they shake they wiggle their butt and she does it to a certain cadence and I titled this now walk it out if you've ever heard the now walk it out song it is a hippity hoppity song and that's the song that plays in my head when I'm walking her because and her butt just wiggles right to the cadence of that song and it's hilarious but I'm talking about the fence and you know how she has to how I take her on walks now I probably should be taking her on walks anyways but I don't. She gets enough exercise in the yard. We'll just like, you know, play fetch, throw stuff, and she runs and gets it. She has plenty of exercise. But here lately, it's walking, not not playing fetch anymore. <laughs> not until we get a fence back. So anyways, I'm just talking about the whole ordeal with the fence in the yard and Bailey going on walks now. Okay, so here's where I did the other two photo corners. I put one at the top right hand side of the aqua paper and one at the bottom left hand side of the aqua paper. I'm going to set it up just like this, and that's going to serve as the base of my layout. I am using double-sided tape for whatever reason. I've been doing this a lot lately. I don't know why. No clue. I don't think I'm out of ATG. I just apparently like to use the double-sided tape. Here I did pull out two doilies from my stash. I am going to put one over on the left hand side of those photos and I'm going to put one over at the right and toward the top. The one that's to the right and toward the top are going to be underneath the strips. Right like that. So today what I'm doing the voiceover is May 13th. It is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day, everybody. By the time this goes up, it'll be May 26th, and Mother's Day will be in the past. But I was thinking about you today. Happy Mother's Day. 
I just didn't um, have a video up today on the real May the 13th. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and commit to the placement of these two strips. One's going to go there, and this one's going to layer on top. I already put down the double-sided tape on the back of it. And then the photo is going to sit right there. Now, what I'm going to use for embellishments, I have these circles that I had cut out or punched out of a, a piece of paper, I think. It was a Paige Evans pink paisley. Do you remember there was all these circles that had different phrases on the inside? I found some that I had punched out. Who only knows when last year sometime, I'm going to guess. I'm going to pull, you can see I'm sitting over to the left-hand side of the screen. I am going to pull out one of the aqua color ones. It says sweet and lovely. And then I'm going to pull out kind of a coral color one and put it up toward the top where I'm playing right there. Only it's going to be, they're going to switch sides right there switch spots that one that's up at the top says happy dance which I thought was hilarious because I used the title of the song you know dancing whatever it was cute it made me laugh I'm also going to pull out some acrylic pieces from color cast design I do pull out an aqua heart and I'm going to pull out a white heart the aqua heart is going to sit up there on the coral circle and the white one is going to go down there on the aqua circle these are some Bella Boulevard word phrases I just looked at. I don't end up putting any of them on the page. I'm going to use glossy accents for my acrylic pieces. They seem to have held the best for me in the past, so I'm just going to stick with it because I haven't had any fall off yet. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull out my title. Now these are those that spooktacular font that I had gotten at Tuesday morning, and it's just I'm going to do it all with the same thicker it just says now walk it out it is going to go in the aqua on the aqua paper right there above the photo these right here are some Felicity Jane sequins I'm gonna take out and put around the page they're the ones that are kind of ridged out around the edges they're kind of a matte gold they're not really shiny and then I'm going to pull out some of those fancy pants they're not enamel circles they're kind of the plastic circles can you see them right there down there at the bottom of the screen they're the plasticky kind it's what they call their puffy stickers only they're not I am taking out a couple of those and putting them around the page they aren't um, super sticky so I am using some liquid adhesive to hold those down after I do that I'm going to pull out the Heidi Swap color shine in gold and give that a splatter around the page right there I just uh, dated it Oh yeah, I am gonna write my journaling. I uh, I got into this habit there for about two months where I was um, not doing my journaling at the time and I still have layouts I need to go back and put journaling on and I don't want to fall back into that again. So I'm really making an effort to do the journaling when I do the page. All right guys, after I do that, I don't do anything else to this layout. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.